All right, so chapter four is all about the Earth's climate. Not climate change, that actually is a whole other chapter that comes a little bit later, uh, but how the Earth's climate is formed. So we've been talking uh, from chapter three about cycling of energy and matter. Uh, we've mentioned how in the cycling of energy, how net primary productivity tends to be highest around areas with a lot of sun and a lot of precipitation. Uh, places with high net primary productivity also tend to have uh, high, higher temperatures. Now how the sun hits the planet and where we get our precipitation and where we have high temperatures and low temperatures are not equally distributed on the planet. Uh, this unequal distribution of the Earth's temperatures, why we have such a diversity of ecosystems on our planet. So the key ideas in this chapter is that, uh, so the Earth is characterized by these patterns of temperature and precipitation. These patterns arise from the circulation of air and ocean water and they're ultimately determined by the unequal heating of the Earth by the sun. Also, the rotation of the Earth and Earth's geographic features also uh, give rise to different climates. Uh, the geographic variations in temperature and precipitation lead to the development of what we call biomes, which we'll talk about in the last half of the chapter. So let's first just briefly mention what climate is. Climate is the average weather that occurs in a given area over a long period of time, typically over decades. Climate is different than weather. Weather is what is happening right now and climate is over is the average precipitation and uh, temperature over long periods of time. Uh, the first bit that determines the climate is the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth's atmosphere is divided into several different layers. The first layer is the troposphere. Uh, the troposphere is where weather occurs. Uh, to help remember the troposphere, uh, I tell students that the troposphere is where the trees are. So troposphere is where the trees. In between uh, the troposphere and the next layer of the atmosphere is the tropopause. And so once you get past the tropopause, you get into the stratosphere. Uh, the stratosphere is where a uh, particular molecule is found called ozone. Uh, this is a pale blue gas. It's composed of three oxygen molecules, and it absorbs the sun's ultraviolet B rays and ultraviolet C rays. These are damaging rays to most organisms, so we like ozone in the stratosphere. Uh, between Next layer, we have the mesosphere. Uh, the mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere are the areas that we get when we uh, get away from the Earth. And we're going to learn a little bit more about those in today's activity. So for today's activity, what I've done is I've shared with you, I've shared with you this spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has, uh, is actually contains data from a weather balloon that increased in altitude from zero to 120 kilometers above the earth and took temperature readings along the way. You're going to create a graph, and from this graph, you're going to determine the different layers of the atmosphere. So to create the graph, what you'll do is you'll highlight all of the data. You'll go to Insert, Chart. Once you get to this uh, screen, you'll click Chart. You'll click Scatter. Click the one with the colorful dots. Um, you also want to customize this chart. You would want to put an appropriate title on this chart. Um, and you'll also want to make sure you title the horizontal and vertical axes. Uh, I'm not going to do this for you because I want you to get used to doing this, but just make sure when you give titles that you also give units uh, as well. Um, graphing is a major uh, requirement on the APES exam. Many free response questions have you drawing your own graphs, and many multiple choice questions have you interpreting graphs. So being able to make good graphs is a very important skill to have. It's good that we start early. So once you create your title with the uh, create your chart with the appropriate titles and the axes labeled, uh, you'll click insert. Uh, you will then print this. Uh, actually, you will then send this chart to me, uh, and as on one page, and I will print this chart for you in class. Once you have the chart printed out, you can work on uh, your uh, the activity for today. This is the activity for today. I've sent it to you in an email. Um, it's due tomorrow. The question is going to be answered on a separate sheet of paper. Uh, you're going to, after, you're going to print out the label, uh, print out the graph, and label the four layers of the atmosphere, and you'll use a red pen to show the various pauses, so the tropopause and stratopause, etc. 
Um, then you'll answer the following questions on a separate sheet of paper. Um, not all of the answers can be found in your book, even though a few of them can. I gave you some resources to help you uh, find answers for some of the other um, questions or to help guide you to the answers of some of the other questions. Uh, it should be a neat activity. Um, I hope you have fun with it, and if you have any questions, please let me know.